Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Tyson and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Tyson's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six foot wet training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give the correction and the only correction that we use here at school is a little tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Tyson's gonna come home with his very own training collar. You're gonna be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now, if you notice, he's sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're gonna demonstrate straight for you is healing. Healing's proper walking on a leash. And his job at this point is to stay even with your left leg when you're walking. So no more being dragged down the street. He should walk with you like a gentleman. And each time that you stop your feet, he's been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So this is very important for people because as he gets bigger and larger and stronger, you're gonna have complete control over him and he's gonna have learned as a baby that healing means that I walk nicely on a leash and I sit when you stop. So when you stop to cross traffic, you have a puppy that's well under control and sitting next to you. Now the next command that we're gonna demonstrate is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. Rich uses the flat of his palm right in front of his muzzle and the one word command to stay. You're gonna practice lengthening out this exercise. You're gonna lengthen it from about 20 seconds all the way up to three minutes. When Rich returns back to the dog, he walks all the way back around him and he should remain sitting there until Rich gets back to where they started. So heel position is everything. It's healing is an exercise. It is also a position, a start and stop position. So each time that you take off walking, you tell him Tyson heal. You don't need to tell him to sit. So if you stop to talk to a neighbor, when you stop, he sits and he does a great job of it. And again, Rich is demonstrating the sit stay. And this time, instead of returning all the way back to him, Rich is gonna demonstrate the come on command. The command is Tyson, come. You don't want to get too excited about it. You make your tone a little bit lighter and pleasant, but not too over the moon, because if you notice, he came right in and sat in front of Rich, facing his knees. He didn't jump all over him. And I can't tell you the amount of man hours it's taken to get this puppy to where he is right now. He was a handful. And I give you a lot of credit for putting up with him for as long as you did. And if you notice, he's not nipping or biting or jumping. He's learned to be a little gentleman. And now our job is to teach you how to keep it in place. Rich leaves him in another sit stay and he's gonna demonstrate that come on command again. So the command is Tyson, come. You probably couldn't hear Rich. And he comes and sits right in front, and then he goes back to heel and back sitting. And if you notice, we're not doing a ton of praising with him because he is a very excitable, reactive puppy, and praise amps him up. So the, the praise that we're using is very, very mild, a little pat on the head or scratch on the chest, but nothing over the top because then you have to get him back into working mode. Now the next command that we're gonna demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with your dog seated at your left, left open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. Now your long down stays, they hold them usually a little bit longer. You can practice this right in your house and work all the way up to five minutes. It's boring, but it, there's gonna be a huge sense of accomplishment because you're gonna be able to drop your leash, walk away, 
This time when Rich returns to him, he's going to walk all the way around him exactly as he did on the sit stay. Tells him he's a good boy and they take off healing again. And we're going to demonstrate that down from a heel position one more time. And we want you to have this video so that you can work him at home and you don't have to go outside. You can practice right in your home. Rich takes his open left palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. And then he walks out to the end of the leash and turns to face him and make him hold it. You know, watch the clock. If he's comfortably holding it for 30 seconds, then tomorrow do 35 seconds. This time, Rich will call him out of that exercise. I know you probably can't believe this is your puppy. I can't believe it either. <laughs> and I've seen him every day. Back to heel and back sitting. And Rich gives him a little pat for praise. Now, the very last exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is your down from a distance. So you're going to have your puppy sit and you're going to tell him to stay. stay. You're going to turn to face him and put some distance between you and he. You're going to use your right hand to give the command. <laughs> and he immediately went down. That was very, very good. So as you can see, we and Tyson have been working very, very hard for the past three weeks to get him here. He has done a great job here at school. We want to thank you for being patient with us and giving us the extra time that's needed to give Tyson the best Tyson he can be. We've enjoyed it, and we want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.